This right here is a piece of cardboard. And today I will be taking this piece of cardboard and turning it into a giant fingerboard park. It's gonna be a good day. To get started on this park, I think we need a little bit more cardboard. And that should do it. We are gonna hope this is enough cardboard, so let's start building. So to start building the cardboard park, we need to start with a base that we can build everything on. The problem with using cardboard for the base is it's gonna be kind of rough with all these grooves, so I have a better idea. I have this piece of scrap plywood, and this should work amazing for the base. I made a quick sketch of what I want the park to look like, so now time to start building. First thing I want to make is this hip, and this is going to be the piece that goes on top. I think the whole build is going to go a little bit faster if I build everything off of the base, and then I can kind of add everything in after. Both sides of the hip are made, so now time to put them together. I found this long piece of hard cardboard, and this is going to work so well for support. You might have noticed by now there's a bunch of grooves in the cardboard right now, but I have an idea how to fix it. At the dollar store, you're able to find these big sheets of cardstock that's basically just one layer of cardboard. Once I have all the features made for the park, I'm thinking I'm just gonna place that over pretty much everything. But first, we need to make some more obstacles. Just notice now that I took a cardboard box and turned it into a cardboard box. Intriguing. This box is gonna be the base for like kind of the main like plaza area of the park. If you look at the beautiful drawing, you can see this part here and that is gonna be this. Or I guess this is gonna be that. So this is the box that's gonna go in the very middle of the park. Basically, this box is gonna have a bunch of stuff coming off of it, and one of the things is gonna be a quarter pipe going all the way across this side. I need to find the center of this box. The only problem is I don't have a measuring tape or a ruler, and all I have is this tape measure ruler hybrid. Like, I don't even know what this is, but it should work.
island is coming together. I was planning on putting stairs down this side, but I thought it would be a lot more fun to have a hit. You guys might remember this obstacle from a while ago. This is just a pretty simple A-frame, but I want to put a ledge on this side like that, so then we can do grinds on it. This is gonna go on very similar to this, but I have a better idea for what we can do on top. This piece goes on the A-frame on the side, and I have one more thing I wanna add. I'm going to put this piece on the side just for a nice hard edge. Similar to what I did with this ledge, I'm gonna make another ledge that goes off here and I think that'll look pretty cool. I think I'm also gonna go ahead and make another hip that's pretty much exactly like this one so we can have one in each corner. So, enjoy the time lapse. This spot is looking so sick. I'm also planning on putting a rail up here just so we can do stuff like on and off of it. We got the hip here and the ledge that drops. It's still looking a little empty on these sides, so let's add some more stuff. On the drawing I did, I made like a little mini ramp to bank and ledge, and I think I want to put that on this side. After we have the half pipe to bank on that side, I think this whole thing will be pretty solid. So let's get to work.
We have most of the features for the park made, so now time to put everything onto the board. I pretty much have everything made for the park, so now time to put everything onto the base. About the only problem is when we have all this stuff laid out, it takes up a lot more space than the size of the base. The only problem is when we have everything laid out like this, it takes up a lot more space than the size of the wood. So we need to get a bigger piece of wood. But before we start attaching everything to the base, I want to make one thing on this side. I think this whole park would flow pretty good if we had a bank on each side with like a little space up. Then we can kind of draw down and then jump up. So let's see what we can make. got the big sheet of wood. We should be good to now place this onto the table and then we can start putting the obstacles on here. This plywood is so smooth. I'm gonna take all the obstacles and kind of lay out where everything is gonna go. I'm gonna place all the obstacles kind of where they're gonna go and then we can start to see what it's gonna look like. a pretty good layout of how I want the park to look. So now we're ready to glue all the features onto the plywood. I changed the park design a little bit just by putting this hip here instead of over there. When the hip was here, it kind of didn't lead anywhere, but now that the hip is over here, it's kind of like a half pipe here into another hip. So now time to glue it down. got every obstacle in place. It's starting to come together pretty good. I still need to sheet quite a bit of stuff because this is pretty rough. This is cardboard from a cereal box and this goes on perfectly. So now time to glue this on there. Okay, I am pretty much done putting all the sheeting over the cardboard and this is looking so good. It was a little bit difficult to get this part really smooth, but it still feels really good on a board. After the A-frame ledge, I also made this ledge just because it felt a little empty here. Now we just need to put this ledge here and figure out a rail and we are done. I think if I actually put a rail here, it's not gonna flow as well because then I won't be able to access this ledge as easily. So I'm gonna leave this area pretty open, but I do wanna put some angle iron on the ledges. Angle iron made out of aluminum. The park is now complete. I am actually pretty proud about this park. We got the plants in here for decoration and this park just has such a cool look.
This park is fun. You can make so many different things out of cardboard. It's pretty amazing. I mean, David Jones made a whole Lamborghini out of cardboard, so I guess this is kind of basic. But dude, this park actually turned out sick. Big thanks to everybody who's been supporting the channel. You guys drop a comment for what else I should make out of cardboard. Everybody watching this, smash that like button. Let's get more likes than views on this video. I don't even know how that's possible, but like the video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.